Hey, I'm John Ryan Flaherty. I'm a student at UNCG and I'm going to school for film and video production. I've been a photographer now for five years and I'm work currently working on a nonprofit foundation for the arts in Greensboro called Production Photography. And we're here today at Design Archives and we're doing a shoot here for Kit and we're um, displaying some of her outfits in our portraits too as a a community project to kind of help each other out. How did I get into photography? Well, I was an apprentice in film and television production, and it came time to, it was an independently produced series, and it came time to do a feature for Tattoo Magazine, and we had an amazing photographer with a really expensive, awesome camera who was supposed to do our uh, portraits for it, for the series, and uh, he didn't show up. And he was like, oh, sorry guys, I, you know, I can't make it, but you can use my camera if you want. And so my boss handed me this $4,000 camera and was like, you're the photographer now. And it was successful, and we ended up getting a three-page feature and featured on the inside cover and um, got a lot of attention from that. And then um, my boss liked the work so much that he bought a camera, and... I took a thousand pictures a day for seven days a week for three years and never actually learned anything about photography until much, much longer after that. Yes. The white dress with gold accent. Yes. That's really good. Blue and gold yeah. beginning to look I don't know how anything yeah. works. Well, I like, I like doing portraits, and lately I've been going for story character kind of portraits, and I've been experimenting with film and video production by basically going backwards, and I meet with the subject, I, you know, pick out the wardrobe, work with, you know, stylist, hairstylist, makeup artist, and I kind of let everyone do their thing, whatever feels right, and whatever, you know, the subject and the location calls for at the time, and then I take the portraits, and then I kind of look back um, I, I analyze it as I go and then I look back at the end of the series and try to figure out what ties them all together because it's it's almost like a sub subconscious level of storytelling that I'm trying to figure out for myself. <music> Typical shooting day. Well, I make everyone start at 10 in the morning, which I'm sure they hate me for, but it's good practice. We typically start out at 10 in the morning. We get together at Green Bean, downtown Greensboro, and get some half-priced lattes. From there, we kind of like have a morning meeting, and it's more of a social gathering, and figure out what everyone's goals are for the day and how we can help each other. And um, We're really looking out for each other with all the projects. And then at 11 o'clock, we get together at Studio 207, which is a hair and makeup studio, with uh, Kyle Britt, our hairstylist, and Chris McGuire from MAC Cosmetics as our makeup artist. And uh, we get together on lighting, concepts, and props, and wardrobe during that time, and then we just get started. And uh, the day usually lasts until about, you know, dinner time or so. And uh, we end up getting probably 20 pieces of work done by the end of the day, just because everyone's working together and working on each other's projects. So it's pretty, pretty intense. Um, I would like to make a, a series of books and corresponding films that go with it to show the behind the scenes and to show uh, the contributions that everyone makes and how everyone works together and how everything develops and um, I really hope that um, studying artists can look at that and also try to figure out what what they want for themselves and help define who they are and how they see themselves. You kind of have to draw yourself of who you want to be and just take the steps to get there.